I think one of the things that sets League of Legends champions apart is uh, just some of the sheer creativity. We love trying to find these nuggets of great ideas and then running with them and iterating until it can really come together to be a fantastic League of Legends character. And the magic sauce is, we're insane. <laughs> we get together in a room, we put up pictures, we get internet stuff, we take any inspiration that is awesome, and as a group of creative people, we look at it and say, what can we do with this? If we can make this the most awesome it could be, without any constraints, what would that be? I think the thing that really uh, defines League of Legends from a, from a character perspective is the diversity of characters. Uh, we really strive to have a range of unique and thematically differentiated but extremely exciting characters. One of the things we try to avoid is the cliché. You're going to see a bunch of unusual takes on what the mage means. Um, you're not going to see the typical bearded wizard running around with a staff. And when it, if you're talking about fighters, you know, you're going to see guys like Blitzcrank, you're going to see guys like Lee Sin. Nautilus and Ziggs and Lulu with Warwick. Dr. Mundo. Fiora. Ari. Brand. Wukong. Timo's awesome. You're not going to kill Timo. He's too fast. He's, too, he's way too fast for you. You're not going to catch him. You hit him with something unique, but it, it's iconic in a way, right? It's, 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 it's recognizable and it, it just makes sense. It's like, oh, it's a little girl with a teddy bear. Of course, everybody loves that, but the teddy bear grows and kicks your ass. I think one of my go-to favorites has always been Annie. I just like how uh, managing her stuns works. I love Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks, I think, has been my masterpiece. It was one of those things where it just kind of, it just came from a sketch fast on a bus. I walked out of the bus and I thought, wow, this sketch looks great. I brought it to the studio and everybody just immediately gravitated towards it. You know, it was one, it was one of those characters, again, that it, the iconography was there. It was easily understood, but yet it was communicated in a way that nobody had really ever done. It's really amazing also that this dark and twisted little girl who summons a flaming teddy bear fight alongside a animated scarecrow fighting alongside a demon jester and a monster from another dimension and it all works and feels consistent. That's really hard to do and the team has done a phenomenal job making that happen. One thing that's important to us is theme. Character needs to have a really central Theme. You have to kind of look at a character and almost be able to know just from the splash image like what its abilities are going to be, what it's going to do in the game, how it's going to function, kind of what role it's going to play. The blind monk was a little thematically confused where he had tiger tattoos and uh, you know had really long hair and it just, just had some elements where that didn't express his theme very appropriately. So we had everybody in a room, we had all the concept artists going crazy on, on a direction for how to take a normal martial artist and make him fit League of Legends. And one of our artists succeeded in doing that. Meanwhile, Stephen DeRose, who eventually went on to design that character, was throwing prototypes in, throwing all sorts of crazy kits together, and eventually we came all together in kind of a short timeline to create the character we wanted. And everyone was like, oh my god, he exists, he's real. And he's still, to this day, one of our one of our most popular and fun champions. We're really proud of him. Ramus the Armadillo. He's, he wears a thick shell, it's spiky. If you bump into Ramus, if you attack Ramus, he's actually going to reciprocate damage. So his whole kit is very unified. You get that he can take a lot of damage. You get that he can re reciprocate damage. You get that he's going to spin all around the map. And that's an example of a thematically unified character. Or like Nocturne, the guy is a, a living nightmare. He looks like it, he plays like it, and his story and his personality reflect it. I think that's really cool. Vayne is this really cool female character with a crossbow. She's kind of this hunter of evil. And it's so unbelievably satisfying to tumble around the map and turn invisible and impale one of your enemies up against the wall with a huge crossbow bolt and, and uh, it feels really rewarding to play a character like her. The company that makes the game actually cares and updates the game and responds to feedback. It's like a living organism, really, like we're tending the game. That's kind of how we've lived as gamers, participating in a game that actually gets updated all the time, um, where the people that make it play it every day and actually like love it and just want to make it better. Everyone is laser focused, you know, no matter what role they have at the company, whether it's an artist perspective or a designer perspective or a system administrator. It does go back to us being fans of the game, right? Like, we want it to be epic. We want it to be the best thing out there. So we work really hard to make that happen. But what we really want to do is create a good variety of champions so that every player has 
a few to several champions a year that they just get absolutely stoked about instead of having like a whole slew of champions that everybody's just kind of like lukewarm about and nobody actually really buys into. The quality bar is always going up. As soon as we do something better in a new champion, as soon as a new champion shows us some, unlocks some capability at the company, all of a sudden we want to do that for every champion going forward. We want to go back and retrofit every champion with this innovation, with this better visual style or better um, technology or whatever it may be. One of the philosophies of the company is just that we're always getting better at every dimension and we embrace that and, uh, and are excited to continue to deliver you know, a better game and, and better content for our players.